Got some cross country ski action. Actually doesn't look like a bad pair. Except, looks like they're used without any snow. <laughs> Other than that, they're all right. I still might have a look at those though. Stuff out here. Yeah? yeah What's wrong with it? Okay, well, it wasn't much as it wanted. Where'd this go at? That guy actually came and threw in another vacuum cleaner. And I'm just at this big apartment complex. I shipped off an eBay package that I meant to record and I forgot because it was close to closing time. But I swung into this apartment complex and everything you see down there except for that license plate. It's from this complex. There's uh, three window frames I busted up. It's all aluminum. And a big grip of insulated copper. And there's actually some copper pipe in there. See, that's copper pipe. It's just got a, just got a coating on it. See that in there? That burnt orange red color. It's copper. And some stainless steel tubes. And, uh, I don't know what to do about these cross-country skis. They're actually a nice little product. Uh, made in Canada. Caribou AR. Raw signal. But unfortunately down here where I live, there's not much snow and <laughs> someone was probably wanting to use them and looks like they ruined them. I don't know if that can be fixed or not. But some of them guys up in Canada that do scrapping shows like Uberism 81 and Thub Print. Those two guys run two channels up there in Canada. And I saw them crazy dudes out there in the middle of that Arctic winter scrapping. So much respect to them guys. Maybe they could do something with these skis. I don't know if that's fixable or not, but I'd like to have a pair of these. Because every now and then it does snow around here. and I'd actually like to take these out scrapping, dumpster diving. But I noticed looking at those skis, there's a TV over here. And some people might not like cord cutting, but see how long this thing's been sitting here just out in the rain. It's been rained on and it's got wet and it actually just needs to be it needs to be destroyed at this point. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And bugs probably want their happy home back, so I'll put it back up there, but I don't think there's any problem at all with cutting the cores off them kind of TVs. The sooner them old things are gone and out of sight, the better. I'm gonna have to swing back for them guys. You never know, it might snow and you know, I could just take these out. Dumpster diving a time or two. And I'm sure they'll work fine for something like that. You know, I'm not, I'm not out there in the wilderness, you know, <laughs> hunting caribou or something, so I don't need anything that's real good so actually you know what I'm gonna strap them on them on there right now and take them there it is they're actually extremely lightweight I guess that makes sense huh got some Mickey Mouse Disney cups now they could be pretty much worthless if they're new mass-produced or they could be worth a bit. This kind of stuff can be kind of surprising sometimes. There's no date, so that's bad. But I'm still going to take them because you just never know sometimes with that stuff. Hopefully I can find a, uh, a set that's just like them so I know what I'm dealing with. Cause they're not marked at all. I mean, they're, they're marked Disney, so that's good, but I don't see any other markings. There's some kind of little thing on there that I'm not even gonna be able to read without my reading glasses, unfortunately. So, looks like there's five of them. And, uh, actually, I'm gonna take this whole box 
you don't really want to set a lot of stuff out in apartments because you know it can be a nuisance but those are decent cups so i'll set them over there nice and orderly like and uh there's a sign down there free take what you would like you know what i bet someone set this stuff outside their apartment with that free sign on it and the manager came along and chucked it all in here ah. of course a lot of the good stuff oh, may have been already snatched up by people before that happened so either way take these glasses Whoa, my bike's about to fall down but uh this doesn't look like the safest way to do this but actually when they're nice and snug down in there and they don't rattle around actually quite safe and if i do break one well <laughs> It's just garbage at this point, so. That's not as snug as I'd like it, but. See that insulated copper cord, so it, they actually make a nice little cushion down there on the bottom. That's another reason why I like to carry that stuff around. Plus if the bottom of my tote gets wet, I got those electrical cords, the insulated copper wires. You know, I get them down on the bottom and it keeps stuff off the off the dirty wet bottom so it's good this stuff came out of this dumpster I thought maybe I had a tire for my motorcycle that's a nice tire Metzler made in Germany me 33 laser it's a hundred ninety eighteen it's just a little bit off of the size my bike uses. I need 17. But uh, that's a nice bike, though. Or uh, that's a nice tire, though. It's got very little use. There's no wear on it or nothing. It's just dirty. See how nice that would clean up? I mean, it, that thing would be almost brand new. Uh, That's real good shape. So I'm gonna take that anyways. <laughs> now, at the very least, I'll put that on the curb somewhere because that's just, that's a nice tire. I'm not real familiar with that brand, but you know, that, that very well could be a $100 tire. And it's, it's got plenty of life left. I mean, nice deep tread on there, so. And that was a bread maker. And bread makers have nice little pieces of aluminum in there. Not a bad deal. Interesting deal here. I have a feeling that this luggage is expensive luggage. It's like a, it would appear to be a suede, a real suede. And a scully. And this suitcase is a little too worn so i'm gonna leave it but this duffel bag carry-on type deal whatever you want to call it duffel bag style is actually in quite nice condition uh totally clean on the inside it almost looks like it's never been used you know like it's it looks what it looks like to me you see there's no tags on it or nothing it looks to me like it's sat in someone's closet. I see these little indentions. See that? It had little stuff sitting on top of it. And, and that those might come out after a while. But uh, it's got all kinds of little indentions. This stuff was just sitting on top of it. This is obvious. I don't know if that's actually seen any, any uh, actual use or not. So I'm definitely going to have a look at that. And it's too bad that... This isn't a little better because that's some nice looking luggage. And see on the inside, this thing is just, that's just nice looking. But 
it's got tags and it's obviously seen some use it's got quite a bit of wear but you know I might actually just leave that sitting here somebody might want to have that for some reason <laughs> it's just you know I mean even though it's worn it's just it's just a quality made deal and uh, you know somebody on foot might want to come by and just snatch that thing up it rolls real nice you know it's just you never know what else we have in here uh someone's personal stuff probably shouldn't sew on tv kitchen neat little plastic bowls uh, not too bad really. if i had a use for them i'd take them hey you know what though I'm actually going to take these little dudes, these little sauce cups, Harold Import Company. I'm going to have those for myself, a set of four. Those are not bad at all. Look at that, more little sauce. You know what? I, I just like that style. I'm going to have to set those in my kitchen. <laughs> Use them every now and then. They were just nice. I just like stuff like that. And, uh, they're unmarked but some sea salt Ugh. I like this person's style though they got sea salt in there extra virgin olive oil nice vinegar some kosher salt anyways <laughs> yeah I might have to I might have to do some digging in this dumpster. Actually, now that I get to looking, I'll be right back. There was just a little scrap metal in there. And actually, there was a 14 cup Cuisinart food processor. But all the rest of it is laying down in the filth and scum. And the bottom of that dumpster down there is dirty and stinky and wet. And it's in the mess, so I'm just gonna scrap this and it's got a real heavy motor in it. I mean, that thing that's 20 pounds right there. But that's the end of that dumpster. I'm actually gonna take this down to the sidewalk. Down there is a busy street and a lot of foot traffic. Someone on foot might like to have that. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this. Oh, stinky mess going on right here. I smelled that about two hours ago. Coming up this hill over here. It's just nasty. <laughs> It'd be one thing if it was a nice healthy fire, but it's just a smoldering mess of wet, damp, gross stuff. That'll definitely get somebody's attention. There's a lot of people that, for one reason or the other, they'll walk this highway. I saw the comment in the past that somebody would like to see the loads that I put on my motorcycle, but I was hesitant to do it because that's dangerous. And I didn't really want to contribute to anyone out there loading up a motorcycle like this. But On a bicycle, I'm not really too worried about it. So there's one for you. Not too bad. Another day, another dumpster.